students, good morning. Good morning, Miss Green. No students. As you all know, Amanda will be migrating to the States to live with her mother. So today is officially her final day with us. Amanda, I am so proud of the pupil you become, such a beautiful young lady. Keep on keeping on, and most importantly, do not forget who you are. Can you promise me that? Yes, Miss Green. I love you like my own daughter. Love you too, Miss Green. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs>
additional two levels of sixth form. Oh. So basically, in Jamaican high school, we don't call our grades by the number. We use the term form. So grade seven is first form, and grade eight is second form. Ah, uh ah, -uh, you're doing too much. Anybody ask for all that? <laughs> <laughs> so basically, what you're saying is Jamaican high schools is mad perverted. Like, how y'all got middle age school kids in the same place as niggas that's about to go to college? Like, that's wild, dumb. Yo, bro, I know your ass ain't talking. Ain't your nigga a high school senior? Shut the hell up, Jerome. You know you're fucking wrong. What is you talking about? Right, right. That nigga got left back so many times. He a super duper senior. <laughs> Joe, Jerome. <laughs> I'm sorry, I meant Just. She said that's the white man trying to keep us back or some shit. I don't fucking know. Calm down. What? You ain't never heard nobody call you a coconut before? What? You rather have us call you a jerk chicken or some shit? Shit, I don't see nothing wrong with that. My cousin's mama Jamaican and she makes some bomb ass jerk chicken. You know how to make jerk chicken? Nah. Beef patties? <laughs> Well, shit, how you Jamaican and you can't even do the basic shit? Damn, Jerome, do you ever shut the fuck up? <laughs> shit! <laughs> I just came over here to say what's up, cuz I moved here last year, so I know what it's like being the new kid or whatever. You come from Jamaica too? Mm, yeah, look, I get that you just got here and stuff, but you need to realize that you're in America now. Speak English. So not English, ma just talk. Mm, no, look, see, <laughs> you're probably wondering why I'm trying to help you, and it's because you remind me of myself when I just got here, you know? Cute face, decent-ish hair, naive, probably thinks everything costs $19.99. Well, no, you're wrong. Those are infomercials, and you're wrong. Look, I want to help you, you know, so you don't keep walking around in those Payless sneakers and that United States Polo Association t shirt? Oh, shit! <laughs> Shorty got on the USP. Oh, shit! Take that shit off. I'm gonna cut your ass. Oh. <laughs> for your information, I'm gonna never ask for your help. I'm raving from that, so raving where something like this in one of our episodes and they can leave me alone. See, now, I don't know why I came over here when you clearly retarded. <laughs> hey, dirty girl. <laughs> Who you are called retarded? Retarded like your mama? What you just said about my mother? You hear me? <laughs> no, I didn't actually. Say it again. And say it a little louder this time. See, that's why I'll be saying shit when the government trying to get y'all immigrant asses out of here. Because y'all just be coming over here and disrespecting us for what?
okay, Jewel. So why you invite me over here again? Because, like I said, I want to help you. All right, look, the only reason why I'm going to come over here is because I figured this was like one of those episodes of Dasta Raven, when Raven and the bully, they get together and then they work out the differences and everything work out for the good. You see, Amanda, that's your problem right there. This is America, not some damn Disney Channel show. If you want to compare it to something, think War of the Worlds, and you are not Tom Cruise. <laughs> what that's supposed to mean? Okay, look. <laughs> When I just came here, they treated me the same way they treating you. I seen Thomas ma come from enough, so my patois they kind of strong. What? Sorry, just didn't realize you they still know how to talk patois. I seen Thomas. What? <laughs> so wait, why you did not act like you never understand what I did talk about on the first day of school about Jamaican schools and whatnot? Because, like I said, you know, I just wanted to test you out, see how you manage under pressure. Is it good? Anyways, back to me. So, like I was saying, it's not that I don't love my culture, it's just that I grew tired of explaining to people that it's possible to be Jamaican and not know how to smoke weed or listen to Bob Marley or eat fucking oxtails. Like, but I still taste good. Anyways, so, I mean, why you never just talk to them? Try to explain it to them? I mean, they kind of love my culture, I know. I mean, them no more dance or song than me to rot it. Look, they don't respect our shit. They don't like our shit. They just do that shit for fun. This is eighth grade, the most important year of our lives. If you don't make shit happen now, it never will. It's either fit in or get left out. And Jewel Campbell, don't get left out. So, I bought some new clothes, worked on my American accent, and took that bitch over one person at a time. <laughs> um, Managa Lai, how you get the American accent? McKenna did always want one like Raven and I. If you say it, that's so Raven one more fucking time. <laughs> Nicki Minaj. Who? Nikki Lewinsky, Nikki the Ninja, Nikki the Boss, Nikki the Harajuku, Bobby? <laughs> Nikki Minaj? Look, she's an up and coming rapper, but she about to blow all the way up. I listened to all her raps, copied all her voices, and it gave me the perfect New Yorker accent. I could help you. Okay, look, I'm gonna do a part, and then you copy it after me, bet? I was on the plane with Dwayne. You can call me Whitley, I go to Hill, Maine. <laughs> I was on the plane with Dwayne. You can call me Whitley, I go to Hill. Oh. Plane. Plane. <laughs> First, 
We are in America now. Speak English. Yeah, 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 yeah.